Welcome to Math City with Miss G. Today we are going to talk about area of two-dimensional shapes. Let us start finding the area of this triangle. So in this area, um, we are given with um, the height. How do I know it is the height? Because this um, part of the triangle uh, touches this part of the area of the triangle and creates a 90 degrees. Um, using the the box. The box will tell us that a 90 degree angle is created. Therefore, this is going to be considered the height, while this one is going to be considered as the base. So to find area of a triangle, we are going to write one half times base times height, or we can write area of a triangle equals the base times the height divided by 2. Let's substitute. Base is 3.5. Height is 2.8. Multiply these two and divide by 2. We should get the area of this triangle as a 4.9 centimeter square. Let us try another figure, this time a parallelogram. What makes this figure a parallelogram? It is because we've got two pairs of um, sides that are parallel. The side is parallel to the side, and they are equal at the same time. So this is 11.9 kilometers, while well, this one measures the same thing as well, 11.9 kilometers. And this side of the figure, is parallel to the side of the figure. We don't know that information. The only information that we know right now is from this point and all the way down, which touches the base and creates a 90 degrees. Therefore, this is going to be considered the height. So, um, and this will also be the base. So similar to um, the formula with a triangle, but except we are not going to divide it by two. So area of a parallelogram is equal to base times height. So let's substitute. We have 11.9 times 11.8. Multiplying these two numbers, that should give us around 140.42 kilometer square. So this is the area of this parallelogram. Okay, let's try another figure. And it is, it is um, again, a parallelogram. So this time the height is inside the figure. Okay, so um, it created this part of the um, figure which is the dotted line, creates or touches the base at a 90 degree angle. Therefore, this is going to be considered a height while well, this is the base. So let's multiply the base 11.6 times 9.1. That should give us around 105.56 kilometer square. So that is the area of this parallelogram. Let us try another figure, but this time it is going to be a trapezoid. How do we find area of a trapezoid? We are going to um, add the base, base one, there are two bases, and then base sub two divided by two, multiply the answer, by the height. So let us call the top as base sub 1, the bottom as base sub 2, and this right here creates a right angle, which is 90 degrees. Therefore, this one, this number here, 10 yards, is the height. Let's substitute. Our base sub 1 is 12 plus 4.4 divided by 2 times the height, which is 10 yards. So 
multiplying or adding 12 plus 4.4 and divide it by 2, this will give us around 8.2. And then we multiply that with the height, which is 10. Uh, the area of the trapezoid is going to be 82 yard square. All right, let's try another one. This time it is going to be a circle. Find the area of each. Use your calculator to use the pi. So we're going to substitute the value of pi for this. It is given in the direction. Round your answer to the nearest tenths. So that means one decimal place. So let us write the formula for area of a circle and that would be pi r squared that we are given with the radius and so we will substitute radius is 12 12 square is 144 pi and then we substitute the value of pi we will get area of the circle which is equal to or approximately 452.5 tenths place, kilometer square. All right, let's try and answer one more problem about a circle. Okay, so this time we are given with one number and that number is the diameter of the circle. How do I know it's a diameter? It's the line that touches or intersect the circle at two points and it passes the center of the circle so we call that diameter so we need to divide the diameter into two so divided by two so we can get the radius so radius of this figure is going to be um, 8.5 so we divide 17 by 2 that is equal to 8.5 so let us Follow the formula that we have earlier, pi r squared. So substitute the value of the radius, which is 8.5 square. Squaring 8.5, that is 72.25 times pi. And we substitute the value of pi. We should get about 226 point 98 and so on however um because we are asked to round our answer to the nearest tenths so our answer is going to be uh, approximately 227 feet square okay if you have any questions, please write it down below in the comment section. If you find value in this video, please hit subscribe and like and share. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it as it will help my channel a lot. I will see you in my next one. Bye.